going on, everybody? This is Tony Nisser for Rebel Music TV. We're coming to you from the Red Fox Room restaurant here in San Diego, California, because we're catching up with the featured artist of the month, the Hard Fall Hard. This world, slowly I'm learning that you can't believe everything you hear. So we're sitting here with the Hard Fall Hearts. Introduce yourselves, boys. Uh, Justin Michael on the upright bass. Brian Kelly, guitar and vocals. Eli Reinick, drums. Right on. So, well, you guys, uh, you guys are a hard-working band. You've Absolutely. been together three years now. We're coming up on three years next month. Yeah. And you are the newbie to the group. Tell me how you like. Playing with these boys. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> every, every every minute of it, huh? Painful. No, I'm actually I'm really uh, really grateful to get in with a, a good, some good guys and play some good music. And, He's a good fit. He's been with us uh, since last August, and no complaints from me. And you actually, it's an interesting story because you went from playing the little regular bass to the uh, stand-up bass, slapping the bass. Yeah, we call him Slappy now. <laughs> hey, Slappy! <laughs> How's that transition for you? Uh, there's been a lot of players who've helped me out, and uh, so I've made the tradition uh, transition pretty fast. And, like who? Who's helped you out? Uh, let's see here, uh, Miguel from uh, Faraway Boys. Uh, Little plug to the Faraway yeah. Boys. Brett Black, um, Rest in peace. Vic, and of course Rocket, the original bass player from Heartful Hearts, has helped out a lot. And yeah, yeah. Now, here's something exciting about the band. You formed three years ago, and three years ago, almost to the day, you guys said, we're going to tour Europe before our three-year anniversary, and here you are, the month of March, you are going to Europe just before your three-year anniversary. How's that? How exciting is that to accomplish such a such an awesome goal? Oh man, it's it's awesome. It's, it's going to be a huge opportunity for us as individuals. I mean, myself and Eli, we've never been to Europe, so that's killer. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. I've never been myself, but <laughs> let alone to tour. <laughs> we've got some dirty looks from people like you sons of bitches, you know, but uh, yeah. but it's going to be great for the band, you know. It's, it's going to be a good opportunity for us, so we're stoked. We're stoked. That's awesome. Absolutely. Right on, and now you got two albums out now. Tell them, tell me about them. Uh, yeah, we got two albums. First one, last 24 hours, came out in what fall of 08, I think. You yeah. asking me or are you telling me? I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud, you know. It was October of 08. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we came out with our second one, Two All Believers, was in uh, a year ago. February, yeah, of yeah, last year, year. 2010. So. And now, uh, we talked a little earlier, you guys have some new material that you're already starting to prepare for the third album, which you're going to be a part of, but more importantly, you're already working it into the sets. How are people digging it? I mean, is it, is it really, because I've heard the first two albums, and you went from a very unique, like, pretty straightforward sound to the second album kind of evolving, touching into, going into different genres, and now what can we expect in the third? I think kind of more of the same, more of what you know from us, but also always experimenting, always kind of doing something that we didn't do before, because as musicians, as songwriters, we, we want to keep it interesting too for us, as well as for listeners who are just finding us for the first time. Yeah. Maybe the first time they hear us is the third album stuff. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Now, speaking of rock and roll, you guys also have a very fun live show. Now, I, my, my complaint about some musicians is that they, they have such a kick-ass live show, but the record doesn't capture that energy. Do you guys feel like your record kind of uh, it really captures the energy of the live show so that people can expect some of that? So. I think so. Um, our last album, we, uh, we went with a different producer. We went with Scotty Blinn over at, uh, what is it, Grease Punk Studios? Grease Punk Studios and, and his mini, you know, his little indie label, uh, Double Barrel Records. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he can recover from that one. We need an electric bass. <laughs> You guys are fucking started off the set with some kick-ass fucking music and halfway through the set This motherfucker halfway through the song This motherfucker played the bass slapped the bass so hard that your bass fucking disintegrated somehow what happened tell me tell the people what happened uh, tell us tell us that's play Quarry would like to we want to know no, what uh, the fuck happened we with just you. played with the uh, the rockets out in uh tempe and uh, scottsdale at, at chasers okay and there my bridge just kind of flew off 
And uh, Tony from the Rockets came up, helped me out, you know, get it back going yeah. in the middle of the song. Musicians helping musicians. Yeah, totally. Exactly. Tonight, from the Rockets. Tonight, yeah, right. tonight, uh, I like Shout out to Tony from the Rockets. I let the first band use my head, and then I go to use it, and I blow it up. You blew up the head. I blew up my head. Fuck. I toasted the cable. Toasted the cable. And I smacked my fingerboard so goddamn fucking hard. The motherfucker. Did you think it was your girlfriend or something? Why did you slap it so hard, baby? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. Does your bass like it rough? You have any idea? That's why his fucking nickname is Slappy. Oh, Slappy. Now it makes sense. Slappy who? I mean, yeah, I know. Fucking I, I took my shit to my looter to get it fixed after I, I smacked down the, uh, the sound oh. pulse. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? He dude? said, that's not possible. I told him to come to one of our live shows. Dude, <laughs> give, give, you have to give props to your luthier. You have a personal luthier? I do. Tell, yeah, I do. Give, so we got we to give props. Who, who provided the bass to save your ass today? Who provided the bass to save my ass and the fucking Brett Black? Brett and, Black, motherfuckers. And the, head, and the cable. And the head. Who is killing it right now as we speak? He's everything but play the fucking thing. <laughs> we, almost, we almost just want to fire Slappy and hire fucking, oh. you know, Brett Black. But unfortunately, Brett Black is already married to Chop Top, so yeah, whatever. But. <laughs> Hey, Hardball Hearts here, and uh, what do we watch, boys? Rebel Music TV. Rebel Music TV. For all your rock and roll needs, you know what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> well, on, on, on that awkward fucking note... <laughs> I'm gonna go like fucking rinse my mouth out or something. I feel <laughs> disgusting. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go rub one out and like be... fucking cry to myself to sleep tonight. <laughs> Thank you guys, Heartful Hearts. High five again. High five! High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. Rebel Music TV.